In the Mass that began his pontificate, Pope Benedict quoted from his predecessor, Pope John Paul II's homily when he began his pontificate. He said, Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ. These words, in fact, form the basis for Pope Benedict's mission intention this month, that the peoples of the earth may open their doors to Christ and to his gospel of peace, brotherhood, and justice. This is the only way, isn't it? The only way to the solidarity of all humanity, a solidarity in which we recognize everyone as a brother and sister because Jesus is the Son of God who became human and joined himself in a mysterious way to every human person. And from this solidarity will arise justice, the just order in which God and humans made in God's image and likeness receive what is just, what is their due. And then, from this justice, this just order, will come peace. Peace not as the world gives it, not a peace that is merely the absence of conflict in the midst of an armed standoff. The Prince of Peace who was born that first Christmas wants true peace for us. From the beginning, the world has tried all sorts of ways to find the justice that will bring about peace. Obviously, it's failed. G.K. Chesterton once said, the Christian ideal has not been tried and found wanting. It has been found difficult and left untried. Peter Morin, the co-founder of the Catholic Worker Movement, expanding on this said, Christianity has not been tried because people thought it was impractical. And men have tried everything except Christianity. And everything that men have tried has failed. In other words, surely it's time that we and all the peoples of the earth open the doors of our hearts to Christ and his gospel. In that homily at his inaugural mass, Pope Benedict concluded with the following. The Pope, Pope John Paul II, was addressing the mighty, the powerful of this world, who feared that Christ might take away something of their power if they were to let him in. Yes, he would certainly have taken away something from them, the dominion of corruption, the manipulation of law, and the freedom to do as they pleased. But he would not have taken away anything that pertains to human freedom or dignity or to the building of a just society. The Pope was also speaking to everyone, especially the young. Are we not perhaps all afraid in some way? If we let Christ enter fully into our lives, if we open ourselves totally to him, are we not afraid that he might take something away from us? Are we not perhaps afraid to give up something significant, something unique, something that makes life so beautiful? Do we not then risk ending up diminished and deprived of our freedom? And once again, Pope John Paul II said, No, if we let Christ into our lives, we lose nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing of what makes life free, beautiful, and great. No, only in this friendship are the doors of life opened wide. Only in this friendship is the great potential of human existence truly revealed. Only in this friendship do we experience beauty and liberation. And so today, with great strength and great conviction on the basis of long personal experience of life, I say to you, do not be afraid of Christ. He takes nothing away and he gives you everything. When we give ourselves to him, we receive a hundredfold in return. Yes, open, open wide the doors to Christ and you will find true life. Amen. <laughs>